Hi, and welcome back to Love Esquire. Yeah. We are on the third day. We have met Val, Sir Grand, obviously Hugh. We found out War was coming. Amy is awesome. And our Pops is a muscle-bound tank for a farmer. In the previous episode, we got our strength to one and that's practically it we have found out that speaking to a girl will fast forward the time and by an hour training always takes four hours of your time and there is various levels of that as well as money cost and obviously we know we can pick up items and get gifts and obviously Amy's birthday is coming soon so we need to go out Amy's there I am going to milk the cow there we go and hopefully I am going to the uh, plaza and if there's a store there, I can sell the milk to get more gold and then stopping off at the tavern to do some training. And then I know I need to go to the infirmary, not an infirmary, uh, archive, sorry. So, but before what that, let's for talk you? to Amy. Now, we spoke about town, didn't we, last time? So let's talk about work hey sis when you're not farming what kind of work do you do shouldn't you know there you go again lazy ass <laughs> fine let me remind you i take the crops down to the plaza and sell them oh yeah this one time i dropped an entire basket on the way all those eggplants ruined Dad was furious. I thought I'd never hear the end of it. Wow. Pat's gonna be pretty hard on you, huh? Well, yeah. Times are tough without Mum. Ah, yes. Now, on about the family. Well... This is a strange one. It seems like the dad had really blonde hair. The mum had brown hair but our image is black hair there's no speech about a grave or anything else or her passing so i don't know if the mum has died or she's just not there she's with someone else so with her saying times were tough without mum i think she has actually passed but hey thanks to all that i'm one of the best merchants around born and raised awesome oh that reminds me i promised to meet up with dad i'll see you later bro all right then bye an hour passes we receive points Oh, and uh, in the last episode, I was wondering why there was additional uh, points and everything else for Val. It is the fact that I had strength one. It, it allowed me to have a relationship bonus point. And I think if I have charisma up levels, as in one upwards I get additional points for Amy and I think intelligence is for the cross girl so she's there so let's go right I would like to go to the plaza why is the castle up why is there wait there's too much going on Hugh hasn't told me 
if and when the uh, princess thing is happening. So I I don't know where to go. There's a marker here, marker here, and a marker here. But this marker was here first. So let's go to the archives. Two hours. Okay. Ah, oh, the archives. Now let's put this past to good use. Let's see. Squire hood for dummies, keeping your knight alive. Perfect! <laughs> awesome. Chapter 2, dealing with dragons. Remember your knight is more important than you. No, he's not. If the situation calls for it, sacrifice yourself instead. No, never. At least you'll be remembered as a hero. No, I won't. Oh man, I wish I could finish the, these all in a day. Sorry, just about to say those, but it's these. Excuse me. <gasps> Woman's voice. Ah. Is she talking to me? I believe break time was over ages ago. Wait, what? Huh? What's this uh, librarian's deal? Break. If you're talking about my pass, I've got one. Okay. Sir, if you do not mind losing your livelihood as my servant, I suggest you return to your duties. Wait. What? As your servant? Who, who is this? Could you not, lady? I'm reading here. Is he head down in the book and not realizing who is speaking to him? Besides, you're not the boss of me. Oh, but I believe I am. Uh, no. Wait. Am I in one of these situations of thinking that this is a normal person who I'm speaking to and it's not and it's the actual princess? Oh my god, I hope not. Please. Who the hell does she think she is? Oh yeah? You don't want army. She slams her hand on the table. Yeah. Oh, achievement unlocked. Sir Spirit. Uh Well now, that is a lovely blooming sight. Whew. Hello there. Uh please don't kill me. Shit. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> oh crap. She's our princess, Princess Beatrice. P princess Beatrice! Y you've got it wrong! I I I'm not! No, it is you who are misled, not me. I have a kingdom to run, but you decide to shirk your obligations! Wait, this is actually a mistake because she's so up mighty and up her own butt. I was going to say ass, but but sounds better. That she hasn't realized that one, I'm not her servant who she's paying or catering for her. I am a squire, so she is in the wrong, but because she is oh, in my E, she's not going to actually turn around and say to people, yeah, I can make mistakes. Whatever shall I do with you? Nothing, because you are wrong and you have to come off your mighty horse. C calm down, Sir Spirit. Just roll with it. Your hands on... No, your heads on the line. Heads? Heads? Why is that plural? Your head is on the line. Okay. I'm sorry, Princess. What do you want? Lazy and absent-minded. 
My, my. Who hired this village idiot? Wow. I really want to actually not be scared of the fact that she's royalty and turn around and say, excuse me, I'm a squire, not your servant. I specifically remember instructing everyone to assist the Grand Archivist with the cleaning of this archive. Uh, did you? Does that ring a bell? No. Y yes, Your Highness! I will, Your Highness! <sighs> wow. Now, off with you! I want this old dust mine sparkling soon! Oh, how about this? You help! Oh, sorry. Your precious skin can't get dust on it because you're a princess. I don't give a flying dickens about that. It doesn't matter who you are, how freaking much money you've got, you are capable of doing what everyone else is doing. Because we are all human. Someone can pick the nose, the other person can. If someone can wipe a dusty shelf, everyone else can. We will be having guests, remember? Mm-hmm. No dust! Got it, princess! Phew, that was close. Why did he lie? Just stand up for yourself. Come on. You're... How are you supposed to get a go and you're a coward? I can't believe I got stuck in this mess. Well, I better get to cleaning than getting smarter would have to wait. Guess I'll stay stupid for now. Yeah, you are, aren't you? 80 points for that and who wants to bet I'm not going to even attempt to be on her good side. Rebels unite. <laughs> so I can I click anywhere else apart from the obvious. There we go. Now this will have me up one. Good. Intelligence improves my heal. Big heals for everyone. Experience 0 out of 20, but I get plus 20 duration. 4 hours cost 10. And that will make me intelligent. 1. So mm. let's start. Uh -huh. That's neat. Oh yes, there's no power. Like brain power. No, about brain power. Awesome. Congratulations. You're one step closer to being a decent squire. Your intelligence increased by one. Is that it? So it doesn't help out Hugh at all. Slime buried. King's laurel. Feather ferns. Okay. These are the ingredients to create the perfect healing elixir. Ah, kiddo. I'm glad you're putting that archive past to good use. Way! Who to the rescue? Please... Help. From the looks of it, you're brushing up on your support skills. Mm-hmm. That's good. The smarter you are, the better at healing you'll be. And the smarter I am, the better I get at stopping you from wrecking yourself! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Very funny. No, it's true. Anyway, keep at it, kiddo. I'm looking forward to your progress. Yep. Thanks, you. I'll do my best. And is that it? No more of the princess, so let's exit. Ouch. Right. I said I wanted to go to the tavern and get my charisma up. But the castle's come up. Hmm. But infirmary. I want to go to the castle. I want to see if the princess is going to, I don't know, apologize. What the hell's with this crowd? I can't get through. The princess won't be able to enter if you block the gates. Okay. Hey, dude, let me in. I've got to be in there. Squire here. 
Okay. You? You look like a peasant. Cheers, doofus. Now back in line! You've got to be kidding me. Come on, Hugh. I need you right now. There you are. Hugh, over here. There you are. Oh, looking surprised, are you? Guards, that seedy-looking boy is with me. Let him through. That seedy-looking boy? <laughs> oh, yours, doofus. Oh, sorry, Sir Hugh. Let that peasant through, boys! It's Squire! Squire! Yes, Squire! You can really tell I'm going to have an attitude all the way through this. I'm so excited! <laughs> Rebels! Glad you're here, kiddo! Yes, I'm glad to be here. Let's go! Hopefully, the princess recognizes me. Oh, sorry for that. You? I thought we were going to the feast. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is that day when the other princess is coming. Right, we are. So, why are we standing around? Guard duty. We have to wait for Princess Kamala to enter the throne room. Oh. That's the princess who's visiting. So I was actually right. Both of them were royalty, but I didn't know which one was which because obviously we didn't go through this uh, episode bef before. Wow, that just sounded time travelly. I wonder what she looks like. Absolutely freaking fantastic, I'll tell you that. <laughs> wink, wink. I've seen some Alcozy women. They're charming. Mm hmm. Here she comes. Announcing the arrival of Her Royal Highness, Princess Kamala Copperheart of Alcos. Absolutely fantastic. And I know I actually skipped that uh, bit of there, but it just was basically, uh, actually, backlog. Trumpets, that's probably her. There you go. And I do apologize for missing that, but I was so excited to see this glamorous beauty and i think this episode should be known as meeting the princesses wow yep she is wow but i do not know how the hell you are actually going to work it out mind you remember if you play your cards right you can actually date any one of these girls I just don't know how. Hugh, the Alcozy should visit more often. <laughs> I saw her first, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Those are some pretty big gems. <laughs> yeah, sure, you're looking at the gems. Well, I'm not. Alcozy nobility like being adorned with jewelry. Yep. But yes, those are some pretty <clears throat> bountiful adornments. And that's a hint to the gifts. So I guess I need to get her jewelry for her uh, love. I was going somewhere else with that. Do we say anything? Oh, just bow and shop. Shush! Just stand at attention. Oh, okay, so that attention, I would have just bowed. Holy hell, who the frag are you? Oh. Ugh. Oh, I am so excited to meet everyone, Ragni Shira. Are you excited as well? Way. What the hell? Her exotic accent. Where the frack is that from? That was so cool. Ecstatic, princess. Apart from yours. Then come, let us hurry. Yeah, hurry. As you wish. 
Lady Shara? Ah, so it's her lady. Is it lady in waiting or just lady? Wait, lady. Wait, oh, I'm trying to think how that she did. He, is she her la lady in waiting? Or is she actually a higher nobility? As in, uh, but like a uh, right hand person to the air. Because if, if it, that's the, she's the princess, and if that's the queen, it would say queen, wouldn't it? I'm intrigued. She finally enters the throne room. So, now what? Are you ready to mingle with some nobles, Squire? Yep. I, I think I am. Then chin up and remember that charisma training. Oh no! <sighs> no! I haven't had any. My charisma is zero. So in my strength and intelligence, what is one? Don't you dare tell me I, for a good game, I need my charisma to be in level one. Uh, Hugh? I kind of failed that. You worry too much. Now quickly, to the feast! Crap. You know what, Hugh? This throne room never fails to amaze me. Wait, throne room. There is something here. I cannot remember what the hell it is. Yeah, uh, I went online and looked at uh, where I can pick up stuff and there's only certain areas that you can actually pick up stuff and I believe the castle was one of them the infirmary is another one but uh, there was another one as well okay uh, I'm actually shaking in my boots now because I don't Magically know what grand in its do. own way eh those were some skilled builders we had mm-hmm we had Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Oh, it's you. Huh? What's happening? Our honored guest, Princess Kamala, would like to meet the knights and officers of our army. Mm-hmm. If you would all kindly present yourselves to the princess and entertain her questions, that would be splendid. Okay, then. We'll go first, princess. We'll go... Oh, gee, thanks. Very well, Sir Hugh. Hugh! What the hell are you doing? Scared, kiddo? Yes! You're not gonna get anywhere by being bashful, you know. Mmm, yeah, I am. Fine! Let's do this. Uh, no. You just caught me off guard, that's all. Yes. Oh, crap. We make our way to Princess Kamalia. She, she, she's so hot, and I'm so nervous. I'm nervous, dude. I haven't got any charisma. I hope there isn't something stuck in my teeth. Princess Kamala, it's an honor. And you're blushing, dude. I am Sir Hugh LaFast, logistics officer for the Cerulean Army. Logistics? A pleasure to meet you, Knight Hugh. Night, Hugh. That's a funny way to call someone. Huh. Must be a foreign thing. Ugh, the pleasure is all mine. God, I hate his eyes. They're creepy. It's a shame we don't get to see nobility such as yourself grace our kingdom often. Mm-hmm. 
Is he trying to flirt? Yes, he is. Indeed it is. And that is why my rubber has sent me here to Cerulea. My rubber? What now? It is my hope that the princess doesn't stay a foreigner for long. Oh, brother. I wish that as well. Shall I then count on you for help? Of course. I am always at your service. Who wants to be puking up at this moment in time? He... this is just... Okay, then. Shall I just leave her totally be and see if he actually gets in there? And who is this beside you? Your manservant? Wow. Excuse me. I'm a person. Why don't people believe I'm a squire? Oh, no, your highness. I'm his squire. Uh, squire? What is this title? Oh, you don't know what it is. It's... Yeah, it's something. It means Sir Hugh is my mentor. I'm a knight in training. Knight in training? Why don't you just say that instead of just saying squire? Oh, fascinating. No such equivalent exists in Arcos. Okay. Tell me, how does one become a squire? Well, young nobles usually get to be squires. Okay. But I saved Sir Hughes's life, so he rewarded me with the title. Oh, now we've actually learned some of the uh, backplay to this one. Okay, then. Really? And how did this happen? It all started when I caught Sir Hugh peeking on some... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in, in it, aren't I, right now? Wolves, princess! Wolves! <laughs> <laughs> he was pe <laughs> peeking at somebody. They caught him and I saved him. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. What a delight. You know what? It. I know this is anime, but if this was so else like ninjas, he'll be pervy sage. Oh my god. He saved me from some wolves! <laughs> Did I know? Strange. You were peeking on wolves. Yeah. I like animals? No, the squire meant that he saw me looking for wolves. <laughs> God, look at that face. I hunt them down. They're a plague in Cerulea, you see. Mm hmm. I got surrounded this one time, but the squire here helped me fight back. Yes, I did. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> That's not how it went. Right? <laughs> no! Did he just hit me? Did you forget how heroic you were? Oh, uh, uh, okay then. Uh, of course! Those were some tough wolves. <laughs> I guess he did just help me out there as well. Such bravery! And you rewarded him with the title, correct? Yes, it was what I could do to thank him. Mm-hmm. A most noble gesture, Knight Hugh. The wealthier citizens of Alcos could learn from such acts. And tell me, Squire, what were you before receiving the title? I helped my father out in the fields, Princess. I've always been a farm boy. A farmer? I see. And do you know what? Do not ever, ever mock a farmer whatever you are higher or whatever do not mock him even normal people because if it wasn't because of a farmer you wouldn't get food obviously the actual process has more to it but 
they grow crops for you to eat and make other stuff to make into other foods and obviously keep livestock going so farmers are a good thing well every uh, job has its thing and it's got meaning to it that's what I see and I hope everyone else can see that then fortune does indeed favor the bold. Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, shucks. It was nothing. I express much gratitude for sharing your stories. Thank you very much. I look forward to being in your care. Oh, yes. Always at your service, princess. Okay, that went off well. Well, who do we have next? That, that was kind of nerve-wracking. Good thing I didn't choke. Maybe that charisma training paid off after all. Oh my freaking god, thank you very much for that, even though I am zero charisma. I'd say that went well. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? I thought I told you to never mention that story. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oops. You never told me how we'd cover that up. It'll be wolves from now on, okay? Okay. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So, time has gone on for three hours, let me say, and I love the doggy. Look at doggy doggy. Doggy. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> The feast eventually ends and Princess Kamala stands up for an announcement. Allies, I am grateful for this warm reception. I hope that my stay here will forge a bond of friendship between our two kingdoms. Isn't her kingdom the one who's going to be under attack by the barbarians? I look forward to the learning of your culture in the months ahead. She takes a deep bow, everyone claps. So four months. You've got my back, right, Hugh? Of course. I promised your dad I'd train you well. Promised your dad? There is definitely a deep backstory to this game, and I don't know nothing. Even though I was a backer to it, I don't know much because I like taking the journey and seeing it for myself and learning stuff uh, for myself as well. It allows me to be me and bring my own persona to the game, which is awesome. I just hope uh, I do it well and do uh, the game justice because it is a great game. Thanks. I'll do my best. And I couldn't click anywhere. It didn't allow me to. So, oh, hello there. Relationship with Camille. Oh. Tongue twist there with the princess. The Corrosion? Was there? By 80 points, but because I have got probably Intelligence 1. I get additional uh, increase from stat uh, bonus, which is eight points. So is that 88 points then altogether? Oh, hello here. I can poke around now. What's this? You got something for me? Ah, oh, good boy. It's er. Uh, you obtained old silverware. <laughs> I love the barking. So can I actually click anywhere else? No such luck. The day is not over. So let's click on Come the princess. Serve your princess. Uh, 
I don't know what to do. Gift us something or talk. I don't know. Town. Uh, greetings, your highness. I was wondering, are there any places around town that you like visiting? Okay. And why do you ask me this? Well, if I'm going to be one of your guards someday, it'd be good to know where you, uh, hang out. Hm. A princess does not have the luxury of having places she prefers. Why not? There are simply places where she has to be. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Have I just literally got her wrong in every single type of way? Because obviously I... Obviously mixing around people and you obviously see films and you hear news and stories about life and everything else and yet there is another side where the controversy is that a royal is in that situation and obviously they like it and everything else but yeah at times they want to be their own person and is this that moment because she says this is where she has to be does that mean she wants to be somewhere and have a favorite place the throne room for instance is probably the most important station for a princess station and that speech station important area room important to me it's station it's like it's scripted into her it has to be this and it can't be that it is there that orders are issued people are judged and laws are passed the throne has seated countless generations of rulers it, so it is actually a great place but yeah <laughs> Yeah. Truth be told, it isn't the most comfortable of chairs. But a queen must never sit easy and all that. Wait, what? Why can't you just get a puffy or something? I mean, cushion. Thus, it is a place where I need to be. And the voice acting. It is not sounding like a serious-minded thought it's like a speech of yeah this is what it is it's and that's what it is and that's it <laughs> there's nothing to it oh man speaking of which aren't there places you need to be oh god do not i'm just Maybe, possibly, change my mind about you. Do not ruin it. You're absolutely right, princess! <laughs> I'll be on my way! There we go. Increased by 20 points. And there's no additionals there at all. Uh, oh. So. Again! Fine, but be quick about it. Okay, then can I... No. That's it. Only one chance, so now it looks like that is it. it, is eight. I have to actually go home. I can't go anywhere else because I have to be in my room by noon so I don't get a punishment tomorrow. So this way? There we go. That is it. We had something for the infirmary. We didn't get it. Oh, for frag's sake. Still need to go to the plaza. So let's go home. So we're back by 10. That means I don't get a punishment. Oh, I wish I could go somewhere else and 
to train bikes for four hours, so it, you can't do anything at this time. So, yep, yeah, back home. And this is a very long episode. I do apologize, but I'm trying to do a whole day's worth. So, we are now back home. And obviously, strength one, intelligence one. We have got old dirty who want to use this. Old silverware and obviously freshly squeezed milk. We could be able to sell them. Our relationships at the moment. I wish I could like click on them and it'll tell me how many points I've got instead of the size of the actual heart instead. But for now, this is the end of the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for yeah. all notifications. And I will see you in the next episode of Love Esquire. And hopefully you have a lovely, fantastic day, you lovely, fantastic, beautiful people.